Nick Rutter from McKees37.com. I'm going to show you how to fix a common issue that plagues everybody with a car, and that's stubborn bug splatter. So a couple days ago, my wife took the family truckster along with my son and one of his friends to SeaWorld in Orlando, and as you can see, the front end has been plastered with bug splatter. Any time in Florida that you head west, you're going to be encountering lots and lots of bugs. And as you can see, they impact the front end as you're on the highway. You know, if you're doing 70, 80 miles an hour, these bugs, they're minding their own business. And you have a 30, 500 pound car cutting through the air and the bugs are splatting. They're saying a prayer, their lives are over. And then it's up to us to remove them. So the issue with bug splatter, besides the fact that it's an unsightly appearance to your otherwise nice car, is that these pesky little guys, they're corrosive. So they're acidic. And what will happen is if they're not removed in a timely manner, they'll actually eat through your clear coat and they'll leave little craters that will be there permanently. So ideally, you want to remove bug splatter. Um, the best case scenario, within a couple hours. Worst case scenario, within a day or two. If you have a garage at home, it helps to park the car in the garage in the meantime. That way it's not baking out in the sun. So I'm going to show you one of our best selling products. It's called Roadkill Bug Remover. This contains a special enzyme that breaks up and dissolves the bug splatter without damaging the underlying paint. And better yet, I'm going to show you how to apply it using the IK Foam Pro 2, which if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm a huge fan of these sprayers. They're made in Europe, uh, they're a pump action, and they have different fittings that can distribute either a, a wet foam or a dry foam. And what you do is any cleaner or any chemical that's a cleaner, it creates a foaming action. You mix it with water. So I filled my container here about 80% with water. And then I poured about half a bottle of roadkill. And it creates a thick foam that coats the vehicle, maximizes dwell time, and it saves you money on product overall. And then to remove the bug splatter, I'm going to showcase our roadkill bug scrubber. And if you look at this, I'm going to put it up next to my mic so you can listen. When this sponge is dry, it's really coarse, it's really rough. So when you purchase this from McKees37.com, your first thought is going to be, oh my gosh, this is going to scratch my paint. Well, it has this unique honeycomb texture that's responsible for shaving off the dead bugs. However, before you use it, if you read the directions on the container or the package, it says to soak it in a bucket of car wash, which in this case, I have our power wash wash and wax. And once you soak it for a few minutes, it gets considerably softer. It adds lubrication, but it still retains that honeycomb texture that's responsible for removing the bugs. So all of these products are safe for paint, plastic, chrome, windshields, you name it. So let's get started. So the Foam Pro 2, I have other videos that go over this in more detail. But essentially what you do is you pump it up, which I already have, and it, it notifies you when it's reached the full pressure. You have a lock here for your handle so you don't accidentally squeeze it, which I have it locked right now. Unlock it, and then check this out. I'm gonna pump it up some more. I actually did not have it pumped up all the way. <laughs> we film everything in real time, so you're not gonna see me edit this out. But you pump this bad boy up. Oh, look at all that. Look at that foam. That is gorgeous. So the advantage of having it foam like this is compared to the out of the bottle spray, the foam is going to cling to the surface. It's going to maximize the dwell time. And I'm also saving a ton of money on product because I diluted it with water. But this is still going to be extremely, extremely effective. To the hood here. Look at that. Okay, now it's time to grab my roadkill bug scrubber. I got my Carolina detailing cart. And the trick with using this guy is you're not scrubbing. You're not trying to remove last night's lasagna from your stovetop. You're just being real gentle. Real gentle. You want to dunk it frequently. You want lots and lots and lots of lubrication. So the roadkill bug remover is going to do the work dissolving the pesky 
um, insect guts. And then the roadkill bug scrubber will gently complete the process by removing it. And these work especially great if you have a motor coach or RV. This here. See, it doesn't take much. I'm not putting any pressure down at all. No pressure. Okay. Oh, look at all that bug splatter. All that bug splatter. I'm gonna work on this a tad more. I'll see you at the next step. All right, so I've removed the last of the bug remains. I'm gonna rinse it off and then apply Hydro Blue, add some protection, and reinforce the protection that's already there. Because the protection is key to the bug splatter not damaging your paint while it sits on the surface. And if you see the water already beating and sheeting, that's because I've previously applied Hydro Blue. So that's a testament to just how strong that formula is. So I really rinse it thoroughly. All right, then Hydro Blue. If you're not familiar with this product, it's a spray and rinse ceramic coating. You simply spray it on and you rinse it off like this. It allows you to get in all the cracks and crevices. This out of the way on headlights, taillights. Got my Glacier 1100 drying towel. And you can see the bug splatter's gone. And that is in our IK Foam Pro 2 with the Roadkill Bug Scrubbers. For more information, visit mckees37.com. If you like videos like this, click the like button, subscribe, and turn your notifications on. Thank you, God bless, take care.